Hello, ladies and gentlemen. There are a great many things going on right now in Grand Theft Auto Online. First of all, let's get the important thing out of the way. I haven't lost any money, because apparently if you had any modded money in your account, that goes away today. They've wiped out a whole bunch of people. It's a, it's a really kind of interesting kind of thing. I think I've only ever had one experience with modded money. I think it's on the channel somewhere. Um, where I basically I got beat up and had tractors dropped on me, and then I had money dropped on me uh, by a modder. But it wasn't a tremendous amount of money. I think it disappeared shortly thereafter. They, they cleaned that up a long, long time ago. More importantly, if you log in to GTA Online between now and Halloween, I think that's roughly the, the range we're looking for here, you will get... Sometime, I believe, around November 4th, $250,000. Well, I mean, GTA dollars and game dollars. They're not going to send you a check. That's not, you know. They're making a lot of money off shark cards, but no, no, that's not going to that's not gonna work out. This is all part of the third anniversary. Can it really be three years already that we have Grand Theft Auto V and Grand Theft Auto Online going on here? But that's what it is. It's the third anniversary, so they're giving out a quarter of a million dollars. And if we pull over to the side of the road here, because you should never drive and use the internet. That's just not something you should do. There are a bunch of sales going on. I mean, they've got... Check this out. The Hakachu Drag. You can pick this up for $683,000. How can you turn that down? That is just an awesome deal. You got the RE7Bs on sale. I think that's even cheaper than what I paid for. It's around the same. 30% off all of these things here. You ever wanted an X80? It's yours for $1.9 million, roughly. Ooh, now the Be My Valentine. This is actually one that I was going to pick up to be the Valentine's Day special. For my special garage. We may do that this week. That might happen. Now, this is one I'm, is, a, is a really serious consideration here. The T20 is still the standard for stunt tracks. It's still one of the fastest cars in the game. There's a really good chance that no matter what anybody else is driving, you could beat them with a T20. And now it's only a million and a half dollars. That it, plus this is you know a car that was based on a real life McLaren that uh, I believe Jeremy Clarkson drove to some effect in one of the episodes of the. Older incarnation of Top Gear. Yes, I was. I think it was a black uh, P1 or something on those lines. So I'm just for the Clarkson connection. That's worth getting. A Lampadari Furor GT. I don't know if I'm into the Furor GT, but hey, for three hundred thirteen thousand, it's a steal, right? Half a million for a Zentorno. The Gran Turismo R. Three hundred fifty thousand. Boy, if you're looking for a discount. Uh, a discount, but really capable supercar. That's a good way to go. I do have to get myself a hot knife at some point. Just because, you know. Let's see, we got any other sales going on? Three, aha! Bravado Banshee! 73000 Now there you go. If you're doing Grand Theft Auto on a budget, this is the way to go. And you can go topless for the same amount of money. Now let's take a look over here at some other things going on. Check this out. Thirty percent off super yachts. Okay. Well, first of all, you could get yourself a speeder for just two hundred twenty-seven thousand. Look at the super yachts from only five million six hundred thousand. That's a significant discount. Actually, I thought it was going to be closer to four million, but I forget what these go for. See, that says six million. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be. Oh, here is the sale. Here is the sale. The Aquarius is normally eight million. It's down to five six. The Orion, not on sale. The Pisces, not on sale. So it's the Aquarius, the most expensive of the lot, is now brought down to five point six. So if you're if you're looking for a yacht. Or some might say it, a yacht. That is the way to go there. Let's keep, keep looking here. Let's keep a looking. Warstock Cash and Carry, folks. 
you can get yourself a Valkyrie for 1.9, just about 2 mil. 174,000 for the Dubsta. That's a steal, and you don't have to be level 100 to buy it. That's reason enough to go for it right there. Same with the Liberator. Half a mil, and you get yourself a monster truck. Let's go back. There's more to see. Heading over here to South Andreas. So there's got to be something going on in South Andreas, don't you think? Let's see, who's a dune on sale? No. And... Got to provide nothing so far. Nothing's on sale here? It's all just too cheap. I figure, hey, you should be able to pick all this stuff up for a song. Okay, so then that, that was a complete, you know, dry well on that. But if you go to Elitist Travel, and look at this. For only $7 million instead of $10 million, you could get yourself the Luxor Deluxe. A big, slow, golden airplane that has nearly... It doesn't have a, really a purpose, doesn't it? I mean, you know... What are you going to do? Where you can't, you can't really fly anywhere else. See, if you could go to, like, Vice City or something in this, that would be awesome. But, you know, Rockstar, just thoughts for the future there. I wonder, you know, what the benefit is there. 805000 and you get your own, you know, part of the flights club, you get your own uh, Besra. That's something if you just want to zip around real quick. There's a lot. There's a lot of things. I'm probably, I know there's probably some weapon things going on and whatnot. Now the big, big announcement for this week is that the uh, the Sanctus is going to be coming out on Friday, the 28th. So you'll have it just in time for Halloween. That's the the new skull-faced bike that has we don't know what performance yet. We'll have to see. You know, that's that's supposedly rumored to be quite pricey at like two million dollars, and we don't know if it's going to be limited to Halloween or not. If you're just putting it on Halloween just to be Halloweeny. Just to be Halloweeners. But the bike that's out now should have gone to my bookmark because there it is, Sonora Freeway. Let's take a look at this new bike on the Sonora Freeway. They don't own it yet. It's $365,000. We're going to go right to testing this. Traffic off. What time of day? Noon. We might be able to get a look at it. Weather clear. Play. I'm sure it's in the listing here. We could call this puppy up. There's my custom Hakachu. Custom night. Custom. 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 Let's see. Go this way because it's the vortex. Zombie chopper. Zombie bobber. Wolf's bane. Vortex. There it is. Pretty. Look at the acceleration on this thing. Um, if you look at the numbers, I think it's very close to the numbers on the Akuma. That's almost identical. That's they, it's almost like they took the Akuma and made it into another bike, but with a lot of customization options. So let's take a look at it. We'll confirm it. Let's take this over the track here. Let's get used to this. On a, you know, this is I picked Sonora Freeway because it's got a good mix of long stretches. Wow, check that out. It's a slick rear on that. And we'll see what we can do here as far as putting down a lap time. Doesn't look like it's a wheelie mobile very much. This is more of a hunker down and go flying bike. It seems like when I lean forward, I do get a couple more RPMs. That might be the technique. That's the same thing with the, uh, let's see, how's it do here? Whoa, very nice handling. Excellent handling, okay. It does seem like it's a big deal if you lean forward. This is supposed to be a cafe racer, so they want you to drive it like a cafe racer would be driven. There you go. You can hear the difference in the engine. Well, we're going to try and just keep this as wide open as we can. See if we can see how this puppy does here in the Sonora Freeway. 
He's got those those places where you do have to make tight cut turns there. It's not one after another. There's a lot of sweeping turns, but there are a couple tight ones where you can go off into the bushes if you don't do it right. I like it because it does exercise the top speed characteristics of the bike or the car. Lots of people use the same cutting corners track that you hear Brophy 1322 using. I don't claim to be able to race that well. <laughs> so we like the Grand Sonora Freeway. This allows us to see if you're really just racing down the road here and someone's chasing you, how much speed can you generate? And of course we finished first. We're alone. 205. Now 205 is comparable to any of the kind of the the, not necessarily an RE7B range, but it's, it's certainly up there with kind of your middle tier supercars. You know, it's not quite fast as an entity. I mean, a stock entity. It's in the same uh, realm. I've pulled times like that in um, in my tur my custom uh, Turbo Saber. Let's replay this. Now, to give you an idea, let us see. First, we're going to see how it compares to an, a regular Akuma. Not Akuma, a regular uh, Hakachu. The Hakachu is my standard bike of choice for racing. It's what I've got. We want the same thingies here. I, I don't know when they change it that these don't stay on. That when you replay, you want to replay with all the same settings. You have to reselect everything and Rockstar, get on that. Now, we're not going to race against my custom Hakachu. That would just be cruel. But there should be... Another Hakachu here. There we go. In a bright yellow livery so we could see it easily. Casually revving it up. Not even touching the handlebars and it's revving up. Look at that. I'm revving it up with my mind. Now the Hakachu likes to be wheelie. It's a wheelie machine. Even so, let's do. We'll, we'll try and cut it. I don't know. Should I cut it in, like a, a you know be fair with this and lean forward, or should I take full advantage of the speed characteristics of the stock Kakachu, just to make sure if you're gonna buy one. I guess I should drive it the way I'm gonna drive it. This is as much me figuring out if I want to buy this bike as anything else. It's funny because I'm so used to driving the Kakachu. This is so much more comfortable. That's what I'm used to, you know. I'm actually used to it being a little quicker because mine's modded out. But we're going to take it through this. And I see about Sonora Freeway. You're looking at two minutes and you know pretty much where you're at performance-wise. So we're going to do the Hakachu. Are you all proud of me? I finally figured out how it's supposed to be said. But the uh, <laughs> Hakachu Kaku Chuku Kaka Kachu. We're going to take this through the turn. Then we're going to try out the acknowledged new fastest bike, the Hakachu Drag. Cut that corner for you. Alright, let's just do this thing. I really am curious as to what a stock Hakachu will do on this course. And around here, up to this turn. Just a touch of the brakes there, and then we're just going to wheelie this sucker right up the straightaway. I'm Captain Wheelie Man. That's right. Call me Papa Wheelie. There you go. And we're just going to keep... That's where you get your... You can hear the, the revs go up on it. It loves to be wheelied. Oh, that Hakachu. And we're through. Through the lights. A full five seconds faster. So you can see, you know, the, the main deal with... Hey, we level up. Isn't that wonderful? 206. Winner. There you go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So the main deal with the new Vortex is it's just... Uh, is it Vortex or Vortex? We'll have to look it up. Is mostly the looks. It's a, it's a looker. 
It, it really is. It's really quite an attractive bike. And there's a lot of uh, customization with it. As a matter of fact, there's a specific set of a headlight you can put on it that will, uh, you can match it to your secondary color. So you can control the color of the headlights. And clear. There we go. Don't it, 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 uh, it, 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 it. We'll take a look. Just look at the styling on it. Go back to um, the Vortex. There you go. Not the Vortex. The Vortex. If you look at this bike, I mean, you, this is all customizable. The tank's customizable. The frame. You could get, I think, a glowing engine. I mean, it's a really, really amazing looking bike. And it's competitive. I mean, five seconds across that course is not that much a deal. If you wanted to race it, you could race it. Just the same way you could Nakuma, probably. Should we try the Akuma? Hmm. It would be interesting to see what the Akuma does on this. We're at the drag, though. I really want to try the drag. This is supposed to be the acknowledged fastest dealio in the world. We'll come back to the Akuma. No casual seating position on this. With flames about to set your buns on fire. Now this bike... Unlike its brother, the Kachu Drag, you gotta lean forward. It is not a wheelie mobile. I don't even know if you can wheelie it. You know, which actually is would be really funny if you could pop something up that long in a wheelie. But this is supposed to be the one right now. I'm curious as to whether or not... See, this is a million dollar bike. The Sanctus, when it comes out, which is, of course, the really creepy Halloween bike that has, like, a rib cage for a tank and spider webs and a skull and all kind of stuff on it for the headlamp. I'm curious as to whether or not that, at 2 million, is going to be all looks or whether it will take this bike off the top of the, of the, uh, the stack here. Then, supposedly, they're supposed to, I never know if it's supposedly or supposedly. Supposedly? Supposedly? Is that like a Mandela effect thing? I'll have to look that up. But at any rate, there's supposed to be another bike coming. The Shintaro, a.k.a. Whoa, look at the brakes on that. That is really impressive. You could just, just go up to a turn, stop turn, and it's gonna take off again in a in an all-crazed hurry. I don't even know if I'm pushing this bike as hard as I could. Because I just don't know it. Okay, I pushed it a little bit too far there. But hey, it recovered well enough. But that's the so-called Tron bike, which will be 2.3 million if rumors are true. From my usual sources, you know, Mr. Boss for the Wind and Brophy. 1322. I don't remember which one I heard from, but it's probably one of them. Will the Tron bike be the new fastest, or is this going to be the fastest bike ever? All right. That is 5 seconds faster than a stock Akachu, 10 seconds faster than a Vortex. That's moving. And 155, that is RE7B fast. That is extremely fast. That's right. That might actually beat might, might actually beat a stock RE7B. I can't even talk that so fast. So, let us try and let's come back to earth here for a minute. Do a, one more 2 minute run here with the Akuma, because I think the Akuma is probably the closest thing to a Vortex. Do the motorcycles. Traffic off. Noon. Clear. Noon clear. Clear and noon. All right. Not the custom... Alright, no, we're going the wrong direction. We want the Akuma. No, not the... the, the, the confirm it. Continue it. Rock this here Akuma. I believe the Akuma is another wheelie mobile. Maybe not as much as the, uh, it does like to be wheelied. Okay, we're going to have to 
settle it down here. Let's see if we can lean it forward a little bit, get some more speed that way. It's funny how forward and back are supposed to go get you more speed. It's Overcooked that a little bit. I was really trying to push the turn. So... Come on, Akuma. We want to see. We want to see what you can do here now. We're leaning forward. We're flying across the railroad tracks. We're going to come around here. We usually get a little airborne and things go sometimes horribly wrong. But we're good for right now. Going on this other long stretch. This is a course that will favor, uh, you know, vehicles with a high top speed because of these long sections. But if you can't handle then you lose a lot of that right here. And that was a pretty good take on that turn. To be scientific, I should probably run the Vortex again last to see if I pick up any speed just from having warmed up a little bit. Come on. See, I f I'm feeling a lack of top speed here. Two minutes, so it's right there with the with the Hagachu. All right, we're gonna have to have to try the vortex again. Just in case I've warmed up a little bit here. You want to be definitive. You want to see the baddie first? We'll do the baddie. We'll do the vortex. Life will be good. That will pretty much cover everything. We'll have a comprehensive video here. Taking a look at uh, speedy bikes. Now, I'll let you know, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit biked out, to be honest, because I was spending the last few days absolutely grinding that, uh, <laughs> that double, uh, double XP, double dollar, triple race playlist there. Trying to make as much money as I could. Alright, let's try the baddie. I'd be baddie not to try the baddie. Again, casually revving up the bike with my mind. I believe the baddie, like the Hakachu, is a wheelie mobile. Yes, it likes to wheelie. Of course, at some point you gotta steer too. We'll try the hunker down method as well. Batty is a superior handler by reputation. It is truly a bike you can push through the turns. Turning effortlessly. That is to say, without effort. Yeah, it feels a little bit out of breath on the stretches. I'm gonna really try and... I had to touch the brakes there. I pushed it a little bit too late. Leaning forward as hard as I can. Just catching the inside of that turn. I'm happy with that one. Oh, he got on a bad one. Okay, here we go. We're here over the river and through the woods to Grandmother's house we go. Because Grandma lives in the middle of the desert, apparently. Let's keep going. 
We're at 152. Can it get there in a sub two? Can we get sub two seconds? This was the fastest bike before the Hakachu drag. No, we can't do it. 205. The baddie ran exactly the same as. So, that's an interesting result. So, on that track, on this track with the long stretches, the Vortex and the Batty are comparable. Now let us try this with the Vortex one more time. And we're going to see if, if now that I'm a little warmed up, if it works out the same way. Kuma, no. We're going this way again. Vortex. Let's see. Let's see if all of this practice, all of this building up the muscle memory of the course. If it has any benefits here on this. Can we pull a sub 205? Hunkered down. Cafe style. Cafe racing it through the faux California desert. As real as they could make it. And I have left the traffic on. Oh, come on, guys. How did you let me leave the traffic on? All right, well, this will just make it that little bit more interesting. As we were still going to try and pull down an awesome time. With just a little bit more visual interest. Oh, this is terrifying. And we split the uprights there. All right. One of the things I'm, I'm interested about with the Tron bike is that it'll, it almost is that kind of moment when you realize you're playing a video game. It's like if the character in the game said, you know, I'm in a video game. I could just be whatever I want to be here. That was a little scary. I almost had a, almost hit a, uh, almost hit a station wagon. Hunkering down, going for more top speed. Whoop! Does all the traffic make me focus better? Is it a, will give me a better time? I really had to slow down there because trying to see what was coming. That could cost me a second there because I didn't really cut that turn as well. Here we are. We're rifling a golf cart. We'll be driving a golf cart on the road. And we cut the inside of that car. Go around this car. Coming up on the finish line. 204.6. So it's a little bit better warmed up, but that's about the same time. So you can see where the bike falls. It's it's not a bad bike. I mean, depending on the course, it's as good as a baddie. It's right there with the Dakuma or Hakatu. Not gonna take a drag. Not much anything to take a drag. It's gonna we're gonna have to wait and see if the Sanctus or the Shintaro or if anything else they come up with is as fast as that Hakachu drag, which is on sale right now. So you might want to look into that. And on this note, this is the Black Knight. Have a great... Well, here, before we say have a great night, you want to look it up? We'll see what the description for this new bike is or if you want to go buy it. How are they describing it? How are they... Let's pop a... Pop out of the sky. Rev over here. Call up the internet. Let's see. It's got to be over here. Where is this new bike? There it is. The Pegasi Vortex. The Vortex has its feet planted firmly in the cafe racer tradition. Told you it was a cafe racer. Its head stuck firmly up the ass of contemporary Street Fighter cheek. <laughs> and the less said about what's doing with its hands, the better. That's nice. Nice. It's a synthesis of what's going to change the world in your underwear forever. I don't even know why they're going with that. But there you have it. Currently, uh, you know, for $356,000... Or somewhere here. So for 356 you can have that. And I wanted to go back, not out. I would do, or you could go here. No, I don't want what's your baby's name. We wanted the legendary motorsports. 
for just a little bit over twice that, or not quite twice that, you can have the Hakachu Drag. There aren't many who've pushed a Hakachu Drag to its limits, the limits of its performance. But you can tell when you meet one. The thousand mile stare, the still clenched teeth, the thin trickle of blood descending from their now useless ears. It's an exclusive club. You belong there in spirit. Now pay up and make it a reality. There you have it, folks. And on that particular note, this here is the Black Knight sitting right here on a much slower bike, by the way. If I have it modded up, it is not as fast as... But it looks cute, doesn't it? The Nightshade. And it got me this t-shirt. So this is the Black Knight. Have a great night.